here at Brandon Marsh today. It's our first visit here for 2015, and uh, meteorologically speaking, it's the first day of spring, and uh, the gorse is starting to come out. Well, we drove here in bright sunshine, but it's starting to cloud over a little bit now, and we've already had one sharp shower. Brandon Marsh is situated on the outskirts of Coventry, about a mile and a half from the busy A46, A45 junction. The reserve is run by the Warwickshire Wildlife Trust, and habitat ranges from reed beds, lakes, and areas of mature woodland. Okay, we just entered the reserve, and the first thing we come across is this beautifully made long-tailed tit nest. As we walked on a little bit further, we came across this uh, incredibly tame robin. So able to get this footage, I'm literally only about a, a foot away from the bird. Okay, let's go and check out some of the hides. By way of a change, I'm going to log what we see hide by hide. This is one of three hides that overlook the largest of the lakes here at Brandon Marsh. Looking across to the uh, small island which is closest to this hide, we have a solitary Canada goose. There's also good views of Goldeneye from this hide. There's around 27,000 birds winter here and uh, around 200 pairs actually breed here in the UK and they have an amber status. There's also great crested grebes on view from this hide, now back in full breeding plumage. And also pochard, a male there with a distinctive red eye. And the more common tufted duck, uh, that's a male. Okay, let's head on up the path and check out another hide. This one overlooks another smaller stretch of water. Not much on view from here, we've got male shell duck and uh, his mate not too far away. And also teal on view from this side. And adjacent to the previous hide we've got yet another hide that looks over the large lake and on view from here we've got a couple of San Martin banks. Uh, the San Martins will be back in about another month and also we've got another continental stroke white-headed hybrid cormorant there and a good flock of lapwing. This is probably the largest flock of lapwing we've seen uh, so far in 2015. Also a selection of gulls out there. These are juvenile lesser blackbacks and there's an adult lesser blackback there and just behind it I think that's a common gull. Also uh, a large flock of black headed gulls and I think this is our first view of oyster catcher for 2015. We've got a pair on the island there another pair further away on a, another island. Also on view from here we've got a shoveler and also teal. Okay let's move on down the track through this uh, little wooded area. I actually filmed gold crests in here last year. Unfortunately none about today. Uh, this is the next hide down. Overlooks water and reed bed once again. Looking out on the far side there we've just got a little grebe just popped up. A few grey heron uh, here and there. Got this decent shot of uh, grey heron on the hunt looking for its prey maybe fish or frogs or even an unfortunate uh, water vole. The lapwing are also uh, on view from this side. Something's put them up again. Okay let's head off to the final hide today through the mud. Brandon Marsh living up to its name. This is the Kingfisher hide. Kingfisher pole there is empty at the moment. It's just mallard on view and also uh, moorhen just below us there and also another little grebe it's a male this time with the just getting its breeding plumage that's about it uh, first day of spring uh, a little bit cold and no kingfishers but uh, nonetheless an enjoyable day out we're going to head home now and see you next time